The recent election of Chad's Foreign Minister Faki Mahmoud as the new African Union chairperson has sparked a diplomatic incident between Kenya's Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohamed and Ugandan authorities. Mohamed came second after seven rounds of voting. She took to Twitter to express her disappointment at Uganda for what she called betraying her in the poll. She also accused Uganda of betraying an agreement to support her. We are very honest people, so you know it's it's um, it's difficult to deal with deceptive people. So um, so I think going forward it's a good lesson to learn. If we ever buy for a continental position, uh, that we have to take all that into consideration. But Uganda's foreign affairs minister Sam Kutesa didn't take kindly to her accusations and voiced his disapproval at a news conference in Kampala. We don't have to vote for you. We can tell you that we don't want to vote for you. What will you do? Nothing. It's our right. But if we decide to vote for you, which is what we did, it's annoying to hear such comments. Uh, but to put the matter to rest is that we voted for her. She was a plausible candidate, a very good candidate. And, uh, but like in every election, there are winners and losers. In 2012, the African Union had a chairperson, Lamin Zuma, representing South Africa. Now we have one from Chad representing Central Africa. Ideally, it would have been a candidate representing either North Africa or the East African region, but that hasn't been the case. Now Kenya and Uganda have had infrastructure progress over the years, especially the building of the rail line. With the new diplomatic tensions between these two countries, it looks like it may hinder the progress in the future. Chad's Mahmed beat four others in the contest at the session of the 28th African Union Summit held in the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa. He becomes the fifth chairperson of the commission and the second Central African candidate. The first Central African was Gabon Jinping, who served as AU commission chairperson between 2008 and 2012. Mahmed Faki will now serve for four years. Meanwhile, President Museveni was elected as the first vice member leader of the African Union. Andrew Arinitwe, NTV Weekend Edition.